Subscribe now to join Team Fresh. What's going on, Team Fresh? Welcome back to new GTA 5 Mods episode. Today we have something exciting, guys. We just installed a brand new bank robbery mod, and I'm really excited about it because the way you can rob a bank now is different. Let me just show you real quick. So basically what we can do now is we can buy explosive equipment to blow up the vaults. We can also buy uh, the cracking uh, equipment to uh, kind of hack the vault a little bit. And also we can bribe the bank teller so we can pay off the bank teller with some money so he will just let us in. Or we can also purchase this thing called a thermal drill and just kind of drill the vault and get inside. And then there's a thing called a uh, hacker laptop. So I guess you can hack the vault some somehow. And not only that, guys, but I also replaced every single police car with a truck, guys, with a mule. You guys will see what they look like. They look amazing. But let's start today's episode. Oh, my gosh, bro. I kind of glitched out on the railing over there. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below which way we should rob the bank today. I'm thinking... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between the explosives to kind of explode the vault door and just get inside and bribing the bank teller. You know, between those two, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to do the explosives today. And then if you guys enjoy that, we can bribe the bank teller next or maybe even use the thermal drill or even crack the vault. But yeah, let me know which one you guys would want to see in the comment section down below. For today, I'm thinking we're going to do the explosive route. And since we're doing a, um, a heist today, I'm thinking it would be um, suiting if we use this vehicle right over here, guys. All right, let's get started. We're going to swing by the police station. I want to show you guys what they look like. They look amazing. Kind of funny, though. I'm not sure how they're going to try and keep up with us today after a bank robbery because... Well, they're just like trucks, okay? Big trucks. They don't look like police cars. But, uh, yeah, they do have police lights. So it's going to be kind of funny uh, to see them, you know, roaming around. Oh, there we go. Okay, here's one. <laughs> this is exactly what they look like. Check it out. All right, I'm just going to kind of go inside. And, uh, yeah, you guys will see it should have police lights. All right, guys, so I'm inside of the truck, and it does have some lights and stuff. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> it's got lights and sirens, guys. It's amazing. Um, let me actually take a look on the inside. The inside is nothing special, but, yeah, guys, the police officers will be using this vehicle today. It's kind of crazy. But, anyway, all right, let's begin today's heist and we'll see how it goes uh, uh, first of all we have to go to the location and we have to purchase the explosives that's what I think we have to do yeah this is my first time doing it this way it's going to be really really interesting to see how this goes Woo! all right let's go all right guys we are getting super close I don't know what to expect but we are pulling up, and I think this location is going to be on the left-hand side. I think this is where we purchase the explosives. Where, how do I even get there? Hold on. I think we have to go this way. Whoa! Right through here. Here we go. Open up. Thank you. All right. And uh, where do we go? We go left, right? All right. Oh, there we go. There's the door right over there. All right. Let's get inside and see if we can purchase some of these explosives. So I'm guessing now we just pick the the bank to, to rob and then we just do the job. All right. So let's see which one is the closest. Um, <laughs> Which one is the closest? It's going to be this one right over here. It's only about a mile away. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I have no idea what to expect. I'm thinking we're gonna have some kind of a crazy C4 system not like a sticky bomb because I could have used the sticky bomb so I'm thinking this explosive is going to be even larger and more powerful so let's see how this goes and uh, yeah guys if you enjoyed this one like I said let me know in the comment section down below which other method we should use next and we will do that I think bribing a teller would be fun because the teller would be expecting us and they would just walk us in and I think nobody would die in the process so I think that would be an interesting one also the thermal drill sounds exciting and the hacking 
equipment too. So plenty of choices there, but uh, here we go. I think we're pulling up at the location right over here. All right, let's go ahead and rob this thing. Woo! I am here. This is a robbery. Okay. Whoa, okay, this looks cool. Explosives approach. All right, let me take, shoot out the cameras. Uh, people, get out of here. Get out. All right, there's one here, one there, a couple of cameras here. And I think there's one more inside of the vault itself right over here. Boom. Okay, place the explosives on the vault. Here we go, guys. Let's plant some of these explosives right here. Let's do one more right over here, and uh, yeah, what do we do now? Do we just oh, take cover in the lobby? Oh no, I didn't know there was a police officer right here, dude. All right, take cover in the lobby. Woo, that was a crazy explosion. Go to the safety deposit box, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, there's so much smoke over here. Okay, all right, we're over here. Begin drilling now. What is this? Wow, this is like kind of extreme. All right, we got one of these. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. We got two, there we go, a couple of more, and we're gonna be able to break inside of one of these boxes. And uh, we'll see how much cash or jewelry or whatever we're gonna get. Here we go, guys. All right, open it up. What was that? We got some cash out of it. Here we go. All right, take 1.1 million dollars. All right, let me get out of here, dude. Dude, that was crazy, dude. There's so much smoke over here, dude. Go, 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 Iggy. All right, lose the cops. Well, we're really good at that. All right, we have trucks coming everywhere, dude. All right, go, go, go. All right, um, I think we're gonna go to my trusty hideout location, which is accessible through here which is perfect. All right, guys. You know what? Yes, this is even better. This is even better. I didn't even plan for it, but we can actually hide over here in the tunnel. And, uh, yeah. Man, dude, the trucks are everywhere. <laughs> it would have been fun to try and, uh, get away from these trucks, but... I feel like some of them are a little glitched out and they're not, like, they're invisible and stuff. Dude, what's down this way? No train can go this way, so maybe it's a secret tunnel. All right, let's go this way and see what's over here while we're losing cops. Oh my gosh, bro. Hold up. Where does this lead? Hmm. Oh, this place kind of looks familiar. We can actually... Whoa, heist passed. There we go. How much cash did we get? Oh, well, potential take. <laughs> Wait, five million dollars? Is that what it said? Actual take. Wait. Okay, I get it. We got a little over a million dollars. We could have gotten up to five million dollars, apparently, which is kind of interesting. But, I mean, a million's a million, okay? I'm happy with that. Anyways, guys, we're going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know in the comment section down below which other way we should rob the bank next. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up right here. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.